Hey guys, Al Truman here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve the way your Android device displays your Android notifications. So it's pretty simple. So um, first I'm going to be showing you of an example that someone who doesn't have pop notifications. So um, is this you? <sighs> Man, let's put some Angry Birds. Yes! Yeah! Three stars! Yeah, son! Next level! What? I got a text message. Dang it! Ah! Who's this time? Oh my gosh! Don't ever call me or text me ever again. This game sucks. All of the lights. So let's start it off with Notifier Pro Plus. Now this is free in the Play Store, but if you want to get the full version which costs $2.63, it just adds a couple more settings here and there on this application. So what you want to do first is obviously service it, so activate the service by going into your accessibility and turning on Notifier Pro. Once you go back, it automatically says service active. Now, what is cool about this app is like it's a banner on top of your screen. So when you get a notification and you're playing a game that's full screen or you're in an app that's full screen, it's going to pop up right there so then you can see the message or the Gmail or the notification and you could automatically respond to it. So you can choose which apps you want to have as a notification. So here you are. These are all the apps that are on my device and displays all the apps that you can choose for a notification. So I just like to have the basic, the calls, the SMS, Gmail, and Google Talk. So it's pretty simple for me. Now when you go back, let's say uh, you're playing a game or you're on, the, on a full app and all of a sudden you can't see the notification anymore and you're in an app, not automatically it displays like a little banner. Then, now this is a theme, now it may look a little different on yours. And once you get that notification, all you have to do is swipe it to the left or to the right and it automatically dismisses. Fire Pro, 2.1 or higher. All right, next up I have SMS Flash. Now this is actually pretty simple. So what you wanna do here is automatically activate it. And once you activate it, this is free, you need 2.1 or higher, you can actually see what the SMS looks like by pressing test. It's going to look like that. Now what's really cool about this one, about SMS Flash, is that you can't even touch it. So when you're playing a game and you're that kind of person that doesn't want to even get your text messages or your notifications in the way when you're gaming or you're watching a YouTube video or watching a video in general. So it automatically just displays a little message there. You can't do anything, you just have to wait and it automatically goes away. So what you could do here is you could actually go into the settings, change it up a bit. You could actually try to interact with it, but I like it the way it is. So let me just show you in an app. And once you receive the message, it's automatically gonna look like this. And you can't interact with it whatsoever. And it's still there. And it's gonna go away at the timing you put it. So you can have it up to 10 seconds, but it automatically goes away without interactions. And please note that this app is free with no ads, no internet permissions. Next up I have a really cool one, it's called Pops. Now, what Pops is, it displays your notifications in a fun animation and video style. So the first thing you gotta do is you got to try to set it for SMS, or if you wanna do it for Gtalk, you could do it for Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, calendars. So when you open up the app, it's gonna show you a tutorial. So once you sign in and do everything and you automatically go past the tutorial, it's gonna pop up with all these packs. Now what these packs are, are videos of what you can have your notification of. Now all of these look cool, they're all really great, and none of them look cheap. And um, it shows you every single one, and it's pretty nice. So if you wanna set this one as a pop-up notification, you just tap on pop-up, and then you can choose which one to set it as. Um, but you could also include one of your videos as your notification. So this is on random, I don't even know what it's gonna look like, but we'll see in a little bit. 
So I sent myself a message, and this is what it looks like. So that one's pretty cool. I like it. It says new message. It's pretty cool. And uh, when you you can see the message down here, swipe up, and then you could quick reply. So if you click reply, you can say whatever you want. So there's just a bunch to choose from. You could have up to like at least as many as you want. So if you haven't been satisfied with the pop-up notifications that I showed you recently, um, this app might change your mind. So it's called Pop-Up 7, and it's a pretty cool app. I like it. Now, uh, when you open it up, you want to enable it, and it's going to be for SMS and missed calls only. And um, you could have appearance settings. You could have slider settings. You could have duration settings. You could even have a theme for it. And also, there's also a command where if you get the full version, um, which costs $1.99 in the Android market, you could actually have voice command and where you could tell it to reply, you could actually tell it to delete it or dismiss it. Once you get a message, this is gonna pop up. Now it's gonna look like this at first, so you wanna tap on it. And once you tap on it, this option is gonna appear. So you could reply to it. You could also have the option of setting it as red by pressing the little mail one. You could also have the option to delete it. Or if you get a double notification, you could swipe to the left right here and it displays them both at the same time. So it's pretty cool. And then if you want to dismiss it, just click the X. So that's pop up seven. Next up I got Smart Status Bar. So I got the full version, cost $1.61. It reveals a status bar on any full screen app by gesturing on the top. So it doesn't display anything, it doesn't display a pop up. So once you go into an app, for example, let's go into Google Sky. If you go into Google Sky, and you have this app, what you could do is you can obviously see that this app is full screen. It's full screen, so let's just try to see if we could get the status bar in here. And there you go, that's all I had to do. And we could go down here and check what messages we got. So pretty simple, I like it. And then it goes away in about a couple seconds. Also, if you get the full version, you could actually go with two fingers, press it down, and this pops up. You can have a timer, so it actually does work. You can start it. If you go to stopwatch, you can start the stopwatch. If you go to alarm, you can have an alarm. And that's what the full version does. There's also other settings that comes with the full version. And in any application, it works. So these are the top apps I use, uh, that I use personally to help me with notifications. Take it away, Fakundo. Thank you, Fakundo. Anyway, so if you do get a pop-up notification app, then this is what's gonna happen to your life. <sighs> Man, let's piss some Angry Birds. Come on, come on. Come on, yes. Hey, wanna hang out today? Wow. I don't care. Yeah. So it's pretty easy. And um, be sure to like this video up, give it a thumbs up. And uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter, as I said before. It's pretty simple. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow! See ya. Yes! No one can ruin my game now, bro.